I'm not going to say anything. Come on, please. news, Maggie Blair. Your brother was found dead the day before yesterday. How? He was murdered. I really can't say any more than that. I haven't exactly been an ideal inmate here, but I have granted your attorney's request to send you home for the funeral. Now you will be accompanied at all times by the matron. One wrong step. Any indication that you're trying to escape, I'll bring you back here and have another six months added to your sentence. Is that understood? Good. That's chicken on her. What's the matter, Miss Beverly Hills? They cancel your subscription to Vogue? What is this? A vacation getaway? Did Daddy's lawyers finally find a way to get you out? I thought a girl like you would have Gucci. I always liked Gucci. <laughs> Give it back to you. Why don't you take it from me? I said! There's kinds of people in the world, the fuckers and the fucked. We've been waiting for this a long time. Hey, cut it out. Matron's coming. All right, let's go, Blair. The car's here.
dear, I've asked you not to read these newspapers. Well, it was just laying there. Yes, I know, dear, but they only upset you more. Did you take your pill? No, dear. Now you know what the doctor said. <laughs> Please, Jack, must I? It, it makes it so hard for me to think. Of course not, dear. <laughs> you can take it later. I was just looking at this picture of your brother. He was so handsome. <laughs> just like your father. <laughs> Okay, Mom, I'm here. I think you should lie down. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. My orders are to accompany you everywhere. Wait a minute alone, please. <laughs> Maggie, you're so much stronger than I am. First your father, now Jeffy. If only I'd paid more attention to you after your father died, you wouldn't have gotten into all this trouble. It's all right, Mom. You're the best. Jeffy was back on the track. He wasn't doing drugs anymore. I know. That's what he told me when he came to visit me. with Jack. Don't fight with him. Yeah. He's a good man. I don't know how I would have gotten along without him. <laughs> I'd like a word with you, young lady. I just want you to know that I want you to be on your best behavior. I don't want anything to upset your mother. Anything. Understood? Understood. What are the police going to do about this? They have a few leads. Some drug dealers. They think it may have been a gang. His girlfriend was Mexican. For your mother's sake, I wish they would just drop the whole thing. What have you done to her? What have I done to her? I think you and your brother have done a pretty damn good job. Him with his attitude and his drugs. As if it hasn't been bad enough this past year facing people about our daughter in prison. I'm not your daughter. Damn right you're not. You know, you and your brother were raised totally without discipline, and look what happened. If you were my daughter, you'd respect the law. If I were your daughter, I'd kill myself. This where we're staying? There's no second bed here. The regulations state that your family must provide a bed and meals. Don't worry, I'm sure Jack has taken care of it. He better get a firm one. I'm not wrecking my back. One night on a bad bed, and I have to go to the hospital. That's how bad it gets. Do we ever understand trust? I think not. Not everything is within our understanding. And now we come to something as terrible as this. A young man with everything to live for, struck down by men of violence. His life taken from him. 
before he had tasted all its joys and sorrows. Certainly it is beyond the understanding of a good person. Forgive us. How do we find it? How do we face that which is terrible beyond our comprehension and then find it in ourselves to forgive? But we must forgive. Forgive and go on. And so as we commit Jeffrey Blair to the earth, it is for us who live to go out and continue. Continue to live and love, finding in his departure strength and new meaning for ourselves. Amen. You know where I am. Any time day or night, call me if you need me. Thank you, Reverend Thompson. You've been a great support to us. So much. If there's anything I can do, Reverend, what will God do to them? Forgive them if they ask. So we can walk away a second time. I'm very sorry. Anything you need. Thanks. Jeff was very lucky to have a friend like you. I'm so sorry for you. My mother told me you dropped by another day to see her. You know I love you guys. And if there's anything. you're going. You think I'm going somewhere? I've got something to do. Something to do? Gavlin, please. Are you a member of the family? Yes, I'm her sister-in-law. Follow me, please. She's the sister-in-law. Mother? Please don't say anything. My name is Maggie Blair. I'm Jeff's sister. And you've come to bring sympathy? Take a good look at her. They cut out her eyes when they were finished. Now, if you feel sorry enough, please leave. I have to talk to you. Why? Because I'm going to find out who did this. I want to find out, Madre Mia. I told her to stay away from your brother. I told her the only time rich Anglos come is for puta. But she wouldn't listen. 
Jeff wouldn't do a thing like that. Sure. It was nice boys who did this to my little Maria. Do you know where they went that day? Or anything they might have been doing? <laughs> Sailing, she said. Always she would tell me something smart. I know what they were doing. Your brother made her filthy. And now this happened. What did the police say? Police. What else would they say? A nice white boy? A Mexican girl? Of course, she forced him to take drugs. And then her gang beat and killed them. I know nothing. And it doesn't make any difference what I say. But my brother's dead. I saw them put him in the ground. And he's not getting Maria gets better. Police are looking for you. I know. When I saw you this morning, I just wanted to grab you right there. I've been out to see you a dozen times. They don't ever let me in. I told them not to. Why? Because I'm the one that has to go back to the dorm. I go absolutely crazy. Uh, bet you say that to all the guys. was clean. Come to me every week like he had to prove it. Did you tell this to the police? Yeah. They just looked to me and said, once a junkie, always a junkie. He wasn't using. You know, he never forgave himself for you getting arrested instead of him. He told you that? Right after you went in. You know Maria, the girl he was with? She's from a drug rehabilitation center. That's where they met. She was real good for him. Of course, you can never get your stepfather to believe that. He's always down on Jeff because she was Hispanic. It's a guy's problem, anyway. He's got a severe case of assalism. Anybody with a boat? I don't know. Why? Mrs. Galvin was saying to me that Maria and Jeff went sailing that day or something. I found a book of matches from this place in Jeff's room.
I help you? Yeah, I was wondering if you happen to see this guy around. Nope. Are you sure? Girlie, a lot of guys come in and out of that gate. I ain't close friends with every one of them. Can you tell me just what it is we're looking for? I don't exactly know what we're looking for. But did you see that man? He was lying. If we don't find anything, maybe we can follow him home. Why don't we just let the police handle this? Come on, Kevin. They've given up already. If I don't find anything, I'm going to go crazy. Listen, I got a class tomorrow, okay? Can't you wait just for a little bit? Something's bound to happen.
Lady, are you okay? Now just take it easy. Let me get you and your friend an ambulance. Hey, wait a minute, lady. Baby, I was almost there. Almost where? Oh. Hello? Emily? Maggie, is that you? Where are you? I need your help. Meet me at Dave's disco. Well, yeah. Yeah, sure I can get there. You just hold on. Hey, what are friends for, huh? Okay, bye. Was that her? Yeah. She's been nothing but trouble, you know? I just hope I can get her to give herself up. I mean, she's been such a problem for her poor mom. You mean poor Jack, don't you? I don't know what you mean. I saw you and him at the cemetery. Oh, J.C. Come on. You know you're the only one, don't you? It's getting quite late, darling. You really should try to get some rest, you know? How about I get your medication? I don't want that medication. It makes me confused. The police will call when they find her. <laughs> will they find her? Sure. <laughs> Hey, come on now. For me, please. No, please. For me? Hmm? Take the medicine and try to get some sleep. Okay?
are, but you got me out of bed. Nice dress. You must be doing something right. Well, I haven't had any complaints. Look, Emily, I'm really sorry about bringing you into all of this stuff. Hey, are you okay? I mean, you look really beat up. I've been under a lot of pressure the last couple of days. So, why did you have me meet you here? I mean, what's going on? Can you take me to my mother's house? Well, sure. Are you going to give yourself up? Yeah, I think so. Let's go. These pills make me so thirsty. I think we should tell the doctor. I'll call him tomorrow. I don't know what I would have done without you. She's not a bad girl. Promise me you'll take care of her. I will. I promise. Probably a wreck. She's probably sleeping. I don't want to wake her up. Oh. Hey, Maggie. I'm sorry I never came to visit you. But that's all right, Annalie. I understand.
been trying to get your mother to get rid of this junk. Come on, put the gun down. Don't get in my way, Jack. Look, why don't you let me have the gun? We'll go inside, we'll call my lawyer. He'll straighten this all up. Like before? Sure, give me a break. You're just making things worse. Worse? How much worse can they get? What are you trying to do, add murder to your list of accomplishments? Get out of my way. You really do belong locked up. You know, you're killing your mother. You know that? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! She's still here? Yeah, she's inside. Be careful, she's got a gun. This is the police. Throw out the gun and come out. Gentlemen. Oh. Easy, Paco. Hey, let's have a drink.
<laughs> she was bad. Well, listen geez. to you, Paco. When's the last time you got laid, huh? When's the last time you got laid? Ooh. Weasel Spider! <laughs> Since he got laid. <laughs> yeah, let's stop talking about chicks, all right? Oh, what do you want to talk about? Cars? Shine the bumper! <laughs> <laughs> At least I got you guys here. Oh, really? Barely, buddy. <laughs> Shit, you're driving worse than a fucking woman. I almost fucking died. <laughs> you guys like my grandma. You're dead, grandma! <laughs> Driving, man. We would have been here, man. <laughs> I hear you, dumb shit. Oh, poor Paco. We hurt his feelings. Sorry, oh. sorry, Paul. Sorry, Paco. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll call mommy here to bail you out. <laughs> You'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> This range, I could probably reach all three of you. Nobody moves! What's the matter, Bonnie? Did you get enough of me last time? Then why don't you just come out and give up your little toy? I want to know which one killed my brother. I'll let the others go free. Suck on this, bitch! Yeah, I'll tell you what you want to know. It was Max, Ray, and JC. They did it, not me, okay? Yeah, they, they saw him and that girl watching us. They grabbed him, took him up to the hill. They killed him. It wasn't me. I swear I wasn't even there. I didn't even want them to do it. It was his friends. Now, 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 wait a minute. You said you wouldn't kill us if we told you. I lied. Listen, guys, thanks for the lift. My dad's had nothing but problems with that Cadillac since we bought it. Yeah, that's what he told me. And Mom was worried you might have to be rushed to the hospital again, so uh, she went with him to make sure they fix it right. You're so upset over a little bump on the head. Can you imagine what she'd do if I really got hurt? You guys want a beer? Sure. Hey, why don't you sit down? I know where they are. Who the hell are you? It's a friend of ours. It's Ray. Hi. I don't know who the hell you think you are. 
But just get your ass out of here. Hey, here's your beer. Those are the gloves. Keep me from biting my fingernails. If this is some kind of gag. This is not funny. You know, your girlfriend has caused a lot of people trouble. It's not enough that she's a disappointment to her family, but she's also a problem for young, enterprising guys trying to make a go of it in an uncertain economy. And now she's got you in a whole lot of trouble. I hope you got home okay. Oh, don't worry about it. Just a little misunderstanding, that's all. I hope you're right. You know Kevin can take care of himself. That must have wrecked her whole day. You want something else, honey? It's okay. Take your time. Los Angeles police are investigating the death of a young man. 21-year-old Kevin Simpson was found dead by his parents as they returned to their Brentwood home late this afternoon. Earlier this morning, Maria Gavin was found murdered in the hospital room where she was recovering from an attack that left her blind. The police are still looking for a young woman who broke protective custody yesterday. She is wanted for questioning. And now, back to more music. Are you okay, honey? Let me call you a cab. No. It ain't worth it, honey. Men are pigs. Now, they say all kinds of things, but they're only after one thing. You gotta watch out for yourself. They ain't worth crying over. You understand? Forget it, honey. Yeah, you're a pretty girl. I'll find a good one. Remember what I told you. They're pigs. Calm down. Maybe Paco leaves me this mess. They fucked up again. No apologies. Now they expect us to save their ass. On top of all that, this spelled Max. We gotta stop dealing with these assholes. Look, they left the light off. All right, come on, the price is right. Like our man said, we got to control overhead. Where are the flashlights? Let's go. Just been here. Could have been those guys from downtown. No way. It was her. We better get this cleaned up before our man finds out. Shit. from him okay uh -huh. okay if Ray calls I'll tell him there's a problem at the warehouse okay hey I really miss you baby 
Bye. <laughs> There's a problem at the warehouse. Yes, so I hear. Hey, uh, JC sounded real worried. He's gonna get ulcers someday. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make a call to some of your close friends. Looks like Al's a little tied up at the moment. You got the money? Yeah. In the car. Let's see it. See the goods first. Okay. Don't try anything. Shoot one of us, the other will blow you away. I wouldn't even think of it. Your family seems to like this little picnic spot. Yeah, you couldn't keep Jeff away from here. How does it feel to be helpless? Please, look, I'll give you whatever you want. Keep the coat, keep the car. Did my brother beg? What? Jeff, did he beg? Did you make him crawl before you cut him open? Marie and Kevin, did you have fun with them too? Hey, look, raise the guy you want. He did it, he cut him. I just want to scare him. Please, no. Police said when they found Jeff, he was tied up. He wasn't cut all the way. He crawled to the road and bled to death. Look, Ray did it. I can prove it. I'm going to give you the same chance you gave them. As I promised, I went back to the partners on this deal and they voted in the 30% additional funds that you required to extend the first balloon. Very glad to hear that, Jack. I told our board of directors that you'd overcome your difficulties. Now, when can we expect our check? Well, it'll take a few days to put the funds together, but we should have the paperwork done and the deposit ready by uh, Monday. I'm afraid the board of directors have set Friday as the day when we call the note. Well, then. Friday it is. Splendid. It's always nice to do business with a man of integrity. Thanks. Yes? Call on line two. Yes. Do whatever you have to. We can't stand any more delays.
Maggie. Is that you? Yeah, it's me, Mom. I've been so out of it lately. I've been pretty confused, too. You're the only one I can talk to. You're not gonna leave me, are you? Please don't leave me. Mom. You'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. Mary, you awake yet? She's sleeping. Well, look who's here. Come to rob us? Need money? Here. That's all I have. But if you still have your gun, you can go in and stick up your mother. You seem to be doing a pretty good job of that. What do you mean by that crack? Yeah, well, I want her to sign control of that land over to me. We need money. I can use that land to get some. I've always known you were a weasel. I told my mother not to marry you. <laughs> I know. Good thing she didn't listen to you. My father left that land to Jeff and I. He wants to leave it undeveloped. Well, he's not here now. And we need money. To keep living in this house, going to fancy schools, paying for lawyers. What have you done to her? What have I done to her? You little bitch. I'm calling the police. Now, you can shoot me in the back, or you can just get the hell out of here. This is not over, Jack. I saw the cutest little Porsche today on Rodeo Drive. I saw it in the window, and I thought, Annalie, what the heck? Go have a look. Well, when I got close to it, I just fell in love. I mean, it like gave me a chill all over. I think German cars are so sexy, don't you? This one was all white, and it had real smooth curves. Shit out of me. I need your help again. What for? You need to talk to someone? I'll say you need to talk to a shrink. Your mom and dad are worried sick. He's not my dad. Well, he worries about you anyway. What are you, his biggest fan? Who do you want to see? Ray. Ray. Who's that? Max and JC's friend. You know the guy from the funeral? The one with the glasses. I think I know who you mean. I don't know him. I might know somebody who does, but I'll have to call and see. Don't bother. I'd rather show up unannounced. You could give yourself up, you know. I'm not giving myself up until I get what I want. What's that? Justice.
No, Detective Anderson. You're under arrest. Get the helmet off her. Hey, come on, let go. Who the hell are you? I don't gotta tell you anything. All right, where is she? How's it going, Maggie? Shit! Damn lucky we don't have time for you. Oh, yeah? Well, fuck you, cop. Hey, what are the keys? Hey, man, I'm sorry. got the stuff. If you want it, meet me in the warehouse in one hour. You tell Ray my price is still $100,000. You try anything, and if you're late, I'll flush the shit right down the toilet. Do you understand? You know something? What? You're a real cunt. Yeah. Yes, I understand perfectly. <laughs> Don't worry, babe.
you go, dear. Drink it all down now. You'll feel better. Mary, I have to have this paper signed as soon as possible. It's very important. I want to talk to Maggie. Well, Maggie's not here. She's in trouble, remember? Now, I need to have this paper signed so that I can help her. Uh. Let me get it for you, dear. I thought you might like some music before I let you be. How do you like it? It's the last song your twerp brother ever heard. You want to play? What do you want to deal? Okay, let's make a deal. Slide it over here. Open it first. Don't you trust me? <laughs> it's all there. Go ahead, come. No, I trust you. What the fuck are you doing? That's what I think about your money. Now tell me who else is involved in this. You're still bungling around in the dark, aren't you? Why don't you ask? What do you think you're doing? Jesus, does everybody in this family carry a gun? I thought I told you never to come here. She wants to kill me. You have to protect me, Jack. Where's Ray? He never called. Well, get the hell out of here. I'll call you when I'm finished. in that scarf, don't you, Anna Lena? I'm not going anywhere, asshole. Jack, please do what she says. Drop the gun, Jack! No. Drop it, or sweet Annalise had it. Do it, Jack! For God's sake! If you still think I won't do it, try me. Let me save you the trouble.
Drop the gun. Throw it down, I blow her head off. <laughs> now go get the drugs. What have you done to her? <laughs> A little something extra in her medicine. I don't think she'll ever be the same. <laughs> Shut up, bitch! Get the drugs! <laughs> now we're gonna take a little ride. You're gonna put that in a locker at the airport. Then we're gonna take you back to the police. If you do as you're told, your mother will live. I'm gonna kill you. It's gonna be tough to do sitting in prison. Come on, let's go. Move it. Open that door for your mother. Now back off. Put that in the back. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Drive. You know, I learned something in jail. There happens to be two kinds of people, Jack. Fuckers and the fucked. And you happen to be fucked! <laughs> in light of the evidence that's been uncovered, we feel satisfied in concluding that Jack Hanna and his associates did in fact conspire in the narcotics activities for which you were originally arrested, as well as the killings that followed. Now, we're willing to drop all charges and break off any further investigation, unless you have anything further to add. My client and I are satisfied with your conclusions. Look, honey, I have to go over to the courthouse. Let me call my car to give you a ride home. I'll be fine. Thanks. If you or your mom needs anything, you know where I am. Thank you very much. You've been great. Baby. <laughs> you all right? Yes. Let's go home.